Hey guys, hope everyone had a good day today trading. Um, basically, every single stock was green, so if you lost money, that's pretty impressive. But, um, yeah, really good to see the market recover like this. Yesterday in the video, we talked about how it would most likely bounce off of the support right here. Um, that we've already seen it used a few times before. And just like it did early in the day, early in the day yesterday, we saw a, a short bounce off of it, started to fill a gap, and then today just took off, and it looks like we're heading back up to all-time highs, which is a great sign. The VIX all the way back down to 18. Um, that's also really good. I like to see the fear level low. People are confident in the market, short term, anyways. Um, those are both very good signs. I'm just looking for the spy to recover. Um, coming up in this week, definitely probably get back to highs and then possibly see another resistance bounce. But I want to go over the stocks that um, we picked out yesterday and just show the plays. So Tesla, just a bunch of consolidation today, really. It was green if you took a trade up a half a percent. Microsoft, same thing, consolidation. These two stocks will will be big uh, going into tomorrow. Let's just look right here. So we see the consolidation between all these EMA lines, right? And we just see a nice bunch of choppy candles. So what I'm going to be looking for is just for it to kind of like break out of either this formation right here or break out of these ranges right here going um, horizontal this way. Um, so either breakouts up and down, since Tesla is filled with volume, uh, those will definitely be big moves. Same thing with Microsoft going on here. If it breaks above this, this is a big resistance level. As we can see, just kind of eyeballing the chart right here. It's used it a few times. If we can break through this, we'll certainly see a ton of volume. Also, we ended the day with a nice little hammer candle. So hopefully that means green going into tomorrow. And, um... And then three last stocks that I call out yesterday. Uber was green off uh, the morning. It was green um, right here. If you would use the opening range breakout, could have caught on the play right here, break above. And you catch that Amazon was up 2.4%, which is a big day for them. 2.4% is really nice. But if you got in on calls here, uh, using the opening range breakout, you could have made a lot of money on that. That's good to see. Um, let's just hide this. So, what I'm looking for in these trades now, Amazon obviously still has a long way to go to get up to highs. Uh, we kind of mentioned this was a more of a swing to longer term trade, just because it was at the bottom of the range. Good time to get in on a great fundamental stock. And Walmart. A bunch of consolidation, same thing. We're still forming this uh, bigger pattern over the all time, which is the bigger picture. That's what we're looking for, really, with this one. So for tomorrow, going into tomorrow, I have two main watches and then one just to keep an eye out for. So first one is going to be Intel. And this one... We're really just up against a bunch of resistance, right? And we have some nice volume. 40 million volume. See in the bottom uh, right-hand corner right there. And we can just see all this resistance right over here. And we're right up against it with some nice buying pressure. So that's always a good sign. Um, yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to look for it to probably break above this 56 range right in here. If we can get above that, then definitely try and enter into some calls. But if not, it could also act as a bounce, you know. Market wants to consolidate tomorrow some more or do something funny on us. Uh, it can definitely be used as resistance. Either way, we're just looking to catch a big move on this stock. Next one is TSM. Kind of same uh, play as Intel, right? We break out of this resistance here, and now we're retesting it again. So we just want to catch on the momentum here. Already up 3% today, but we, uh, with some nice volume going into tomorrow, it shouldn't be a problem. We should uh, see a nice move tomorrow. Just try and catch the right direction. You can use the opening range breakout or just look at what the SPY is doing, and that should also help you out. Lucid, same thing. Today we kind of broke out of this resistance. Wasn't on the watch. Probably could have been because it had nice volume, but uh, we broke out of the resistance right here. 
and we're just going to look into some continuation for tomorrow just to get some uh, nice momentum plays. And, uh, yeah, use the opening range breakout on that one. And that should be good. I uh, hope you guys enjoy those three picks. And hopefully tomorrow is a good day in the market. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. See ya.